What's up guys, welcome back for another EVE Online video. Figure I'd treat you guys to a little bit of a uh, Haw Dread. I'm just gonna go to a uh agrees to sanctum here. And we'll uh kind of give you an idea of how the uh how it performs. Someone's already been here, obviously, on this one, so uh we'll finish off what's here and maybe we'll get a respawn. I use a sensor booster just so it's a little bit faster on the targeting. Um, you could probably put something else in there if you don't really care about that. You usually keep everything uh, grouped up with this. You know, you got three weapons, so I just you know throw them all together. I'm going to siege up here. I'm not sure if this person did. Uh, I don't know. This I think this is the remaining of uh, wave one, which is fine. We'll be able to get um, the rest of it down. The battleships and every, everything just kind of melts for the most part. I'll post the clone and all that stuff in this fit in the description. But I use pretty much the same uh, missile clone uh, that I do with uh, the Golem and Tingu. But this thing is like super tanky, right? And this is kind of the normal process, right? If you're going to do sanctums, even with a golem or whatever, I just kind of like warp zero. This will, uh, this dread just completely overkills this sanctum. So, usually, uh, the haw is for like, you know, sub capital, right? They have to close like, I think, 6,000 or 6,200. Yeah, 6,250. So, we'll, uh, once they all got to get in range, we'll just, you know, pop it. But we can go and start destroying people. We're going to hit that, uh, other battleship first. Because, uh, we will let the, uh, smart bomb do a little bit of work. They're not quite in range yet, but we're going to go and turn it on. They might keep distance from me. I am going to take the one down that's got me um, webbed, though. Also, it's only three uh, rats left in this wave, so... So as you can see, we have a, a range of 86. So the next spawn point is within range, so we should be fine. You don't get as many targets with this as the uh, as the golem, but you know it's fine. Turn that smart bomb off. The uh, capacitor booster is really for when you're jumping. Like so, when you jump and you uh, know you need to do another jump. You'll throw the capacitor booster on to get your cap back up so you can jump again when your fatigue's good. And also if, you know, someone newts you or, you know, attempts to newt you or whatever the case may be. Shield booster does pretty good. As you see, we've taken very little damage. We're like we're taking like 3% of damage on our shield. And so you can pretty much uh, warp zero on these and everything, even on the last wave, they'll come moving right towards you. So I really like how the damage is on this thing. Yeah, so you're doing 5,900 um, damage per second with this and a range of uh, 86. And then um, it's 15,000 kinetic damage. I guess we'll do a split too, since we do have um, some targets left. I'll split the gun so you can just kind of see how that performs. I 
we'll go ahead and let those run for a minute so you can see the damage on those uh and it slows down the further the targets are away from you obviously because of flight time but uh yeah it's still you still pack a punch even just as single um launchers turn that smart bomb back on and i'll just show you the uh shield reps we're repping uh 19 5 19, hp every five seconds so one rep will uh, basically repair all of the damage we took on this so far we'll go and target these frigates up take these last two battleships down That smart bomb's taking care of that frigate pretty good. And this should be it. A module has run out of charges. A module has run out of charges. A module has run out of charges. Of course, I get a reload right on the last target, right? That's how that goes. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the little showcase here of the uh, Caldari Phoenix on a uh, Hall configuration. It's uh, one of my favorite ships, and it also takes a lot of skilling just because you're carrying multiple fits with you uh, normally. Um, normally, I have the Hall and then the configuration, and then I'll have like just the extra large crews and or extra large torps. Um, extra large torps are great for uh, structure bashing. I'll probably do a fit video for that and kind of show what structure bashing looks like um, one day soon or whatever. But uh, as far as like, you know, a very tanky, you know, really high DPS uh, sub cap ratting ship, the uh, the Dreadnought is, uh, well, at least for me, the uh, Kaldari Phoenix is uh, really, really good. Thank you for watching and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.